What's up, Kim Heist? Welcome to another criminology educational video. And for today's subject, we will be discussing traffic management and accident investigation. By the way, my name is Sean Francis Sandiego, also known as The Professor. So before we jump into our discussion, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to The Professor, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next video upload. So our topic for today would be about traffic signs. So just to give you a heads up, I will be discussing three types of traffic signs with pursue one to the issuance of Department of Transportation and the Land Transportation Office. So first on our list would be the danger warning signs. So for the danger warning signs, it is designed to let the road users anticipate dangers in the roadways. So usually, pinapakita ito or ginagamit si danger warning signs para ma-warningan or para ma-inform yung mga traffic users or yung mga drivers to be more cautious and to be more careful in using or in traveling because it may anticipate danger in the roadway or as they travel. So what are the types of warning signs as per LTO and DOTR? So first would be the horizontal signs. So these signs are used to indicate the type of road curb ahead of the motorist. So the following are sharp turn, reverse turn, curve, reverse curve, winding road, and hairpin bend. Second would be intersection signs. Signs when one approaches an intersection or junction. Nandiyan si intersection ahead, T-junction ahead, Y-junction ahead, roundabout ahead or rotonda, side road junction ahead, approach to intersection, approach to intersection side road, and approach to intersection merging traffic. Third would be the advanced warning traffic control device sign in which it approaches an intersection or junction. So when we see a, a traffic device or a traffic sign uh, na nakalagay is traffic lights ahead, the driver must not park or stop within 6 meters of this sign as it reduces visibility for the other drivers. Fourth is road width sign. Nandiyan si road narrows ahead, end of the two-way uh, road ahead, narrow bridge ahead, and two-way road ahead. The fifth one would be road of obstacle signs. So, so these are opening bridge ahead, an even road ahead, hump ahead, downhill sign, uphill sign, spillway sign, flood prone area, landslide prone area, slippery when wet, animal crossing ahead, and low flying airplane so, zone. So before we continue on discussing what are the types of warning signs, just to give you a heads up or para ma-inform lang din kayo, a danger warning sign is usually um, interpret or uh, nakadesign siya as a triangle and yung triangle is color red. So para mas madali natin to or kaya ko to dinidiscuss is para maging well informed tayo about what are the traffic signs. Para pag nakita natin to sa daan, hindi tayo magtataka or hindi tayo uh, ignorant or hindi natin uh, at least may idea tayo kung ano yung traffic sign or device sign or road sign na nandoon at nakita mo. Um, sa daan. Next would be the pedestrian school signs. So, uh, on the word itself, makikita natin ito sa mga school zones. So, first is pedestrian crossing ahead. Be aware and stop for children crossing ahead. Be aware and stop for persons with disability ahead. Advice to pedestrian to cross at designated areas. And be aware and slow down on bike lane ahead. So, for pedestrian school signs, makikita natin color yellow siya. 7. Railway level crossing signs. So, usually makikita natin to if we are near uh, a railway. So, nandito yung railroad crossing vehicles must stop or give the right of way. Railway crossing advance warning. Alternative railway crossing position in an area that can be easily seen. And 8 is yung mga supplementary signs na maari natin makita such as makikita natin dito yung preferred maximum speed during the normal weather and traffic condition. So, makikita din natin dito yung mga additional sign on roadworks ahead kung may makikita tayo doon na mga uh, nagagawa or under construction yung road. So, meron din dito na mga signs of PWD, senior citizens, schools and playgrounds, and also prohibitions for PUJ, buses, etc. And the last one would be the other warning signs. So, usually pinapakita dito yung vertical clearance. Kung cleared ba yung sasakyan, 
na da, uh, gamitin yung roadway na yon so usually it is ang issue dito is vertical clearance o yung height ng sasakyan Next is regulatory signs. So, these are intended to inform road users about their obligations in traffic. So, for regulatory signs, it is just informing the um, road users or, um, kumbaga, pinaaalalahanan mo lang sila about their obligations um, in following traffic rules and regulation to promote traffic safety and as well as para maiwasan natin yung mga traffic incidents or accidents. So, for road traffic signs, maaari yung mahati, uh, regulatory signs rather, maaaring mahati yan sa tatlo. Priority signs, direction signs, and restriction signs. For priority signs, ito yung mga stop sign, giveaway sign, and left turner must give way. For direction signs, ito naman yung mga signs na nagpapakita ng mga directions that the motorist should oblige to follow. For prohibitive or restriction signs, these are signs indicated the only directions in which the ob, uh, motorist is obliged to follow. Pero, makikita natin dito yung mga no entry for all types of vehicle. Ito yon. And, ito naman sa baba, ito yung mga specific uh, vehicle lang na hindi pwede. So, meron din dito, no pedestrian crossing. And, of course, use overpass or use pedsing for pedestrian. And, of course, ito yung no right turn or no left turn. No U-turn and, of course, the no overtaking zone. Nandito rin si speed signs wherein pinapakita dito yung maximum speed restriction, end of the speed restriction, and of course, the minimum speed restriction. And the fifth one would be the parking signs. For the parking signs, pag nakita natin color green, it means that it allows parking and loading zone at a given time and place. Tapos meron din dito yung mga no waiting, no loading and unloading zone, no stopping anytime, and etc. Six is miscellaneous signs. So, nandito yung mga no entry for vehicles within the gross axle load of two more of more 2 tons. No entry vehicles with more than 110 meters in length o yung haba nito. No entry for vehicles with 3.5 meters in height o yung taas nung sasakyan. Of course, always use seatbelt as per so one to Republic Act 8750 or the seatbelt law. Um, be aware of children crossing. Be aware of pedestrians or rather persons with disabilities crossing. Bike lane ahead, be aware of pedestrian crossing, no blowing of horns, especially on school zone and church zone, no entry for vehicles with more 2 meters of width, and no entry for vehicles with gross vehicle mass of more than 5 tons. The last one would be informative signs. So, these signs intended to allow awareness to road users and inform of certain matters that they should know along the way. So, nandito yung mga advanced direction signs in which uh, pinapakita or ini-inform yung mga motorists on what are the directions that they are obliged to follow. Kung papunta kang bataan, dito ang daan mo. Kung papunta kang batangas, dito ang daan mo. Second is inter intersection direction signs. So, makikita natin yan 1 km before an intersection. Third is reassurance direction signs. These are approximate distance of a particular exits and these are usually seen in expressways. Four is fingerboard direction signs, wherein it provides direction to towns, tourist spots, geographic interest, at less important intersections. Fifth is street name signs. So, this is just to inform road users kung nasa ang street na ba sila. Six is town names and geographical feature signs. So, dito makikita kung ano yung uh, nasa ang town proper na kayo. Seven is service signs. Usually, makikita to sa mga expressways. Pag makikitang malapit na dun sa mga gasoline station, hospital, kainan, so, so on and so forth. Eight is tourist information and tourist destination signs. So usually pinapakita dito yung mga tourist destinations na maaring makikita in a certain area. Route markers, these are identification and general direction of the arterial roads and national highways that have significance by showing the number and direction of the route. And the last one would be the Asian Highway Route Marker. So, just to inform you guys that our country assigned number is AH26. This is to identify the general direction of arterial roads of the Asian highways that have significance as true routes. So, meron din dito yung mga advanced directional signs with route marker shield and also the Asian Highway Leg Marker sign. So, thank you very much and I hope that... Uh, 
you learned a lot from what are the traffic signs as pursuant by the Department of Transportation and the Land Transportation Office. So why is it important for us to know or to be well informed of what are the traffic signs? Of course, as road users, may it be a driver or a pedestrian or a commuter, we should all be well informed of what are the traffic signs. Bakit? Para at least pag nakita natin ito sa daan, we know what to do. Because uh, as motorists, as traffic users, we are, we are obliged to follow certain traffic rules and regulations. And of course, in observing or in following traffic rules and regulations, may iwasan natin yung mga traffic accidents. And also, it will promote discipline to the traffic users and traffic safety, which is the primordial goal of traffic management. It is to promote traffic um, safety and of course, mas maging madali yung flow ng traffic. So, efficient flow of traffic and traffic safety. So, if you love this video and if you learned a lot, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for the professor's next video upload. So, thank you very much and see you on my next one.